Roger was a given man. Um, he was a firefighter for 48 years. He was a Marine for eight. He was an organ donor. Um, he would take the shirt off of his back and give it to anybody that needed it. He was always doing something to help somebody else. Everybody in town loved him. He um, would go over to the local restaurant and sit for hours just drinking coffee and telling stories or jokes or something to that effect. He, um, he was just special all the way around. The fire department was his whole life. I mean, if he wasn't running a call, he was washing a fire truck. Um, but him and I would take long rides. We liked to ride um, out in the country and see the different colors of the leaves or the flowers or stop and pick berries or something. But we just really enjoyed just spending time together. Nobody can bother you when it's just you and him in the truck. He was also a truck driver. He drove a truck for many, 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 many years. And he was um, retired from there. Uh, but he just, he was funny. Funny. I mean, no one, you could say something and he's going to make a joke out of it. He's going to have you laughing. And that was the biggest thing about him and I, that when I was in the worst divorce moods, he could make me laugh. And um, I don't know much more than I could say about what he did outside, because that's what he did. He either drove a truck or he was on the fire department doing something at the firehouse, a fundraiser or something, and we liked our rides. I mean. His dad was a firefighter for many, many years. I'm not sure how many. His brother, his younger brother, had been on the fire to service, I'm going to say, 33 years. And he's been chief, I think, 29 of those. So, um, yeah. And his son is also a firefighter. So, I mean, you know, it's just been a lifestyle for the whole family. And we all get along great. You know, if it wasn't for his side of the family, after he passed away, I don't know what I'd have done. They're a good group of people. And the fire service has been a good group of people with, you know, I knew they were because of being on the fire department, but the extent of the love that you got and the kindness you got from the fire service is just unbelievable. Especially our Botetourt County people. I mean, even today, if I see somebody out that is a Botetourt County, which is a bigger area, uh, they never hesitate to stop. How you doing? Do you need anything? Can I do anything? So, I mean, you know, it's been a, a good group of people. When you thought you was already close to the fire service, when something like this happens, you're even closer. It just seems like it, they just draw you in, and it's great. I mean, it's really great. I wouldn't want to be with any other family other than my own than the fire service because it's been a great group of people. And they all still reach out, you know. And Roger's mom is still alive. And she calls me every day, every day, sometimes twice a day. And if she doesn't call me by 7 o'clock, I'm usually calling her. But She's been a very strong woman to have, you know, a husband that was a firefighter, two sons that are firefighters, and, you know, you've, you've got that worry every time they go out. And I don't even listen to a radio anymore because I don't want to hear a call go out that, you know, my brother-in-law's on and you're going, oh, no, not again. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I just don't... Um, but his family's great. They really are. And it's not just the fire department. You know, the police department, the state police, they all reached out when Roger passed away. He um, couldn't have his funeral at a funeral home. 
we had it in the gymnasium at the school. There was just so many people coming from all over the world, Texas, Missouri, that came in for his funeral. And it was just overwhelming at how gracious they were. I mean, it was awesome. The one thing I'd want people to remember about Roger is that he was a giving man, that he gave and gave and gave his whole life from the time he was young and getting on the fire department at 15, 16 years old to the time he passed away. He was always giving. He gave to his country, he gave to his community, he gave life to others with organ donation. So that's the one thing I want people to remember, that he is a giving man, an honorable man.